uh, I think, pretty much all my life that my purpose in doing research has been to find uh, how human learning can be made more effective and more efficient. And I always have that in mind. Everything I do, uh, every uh, research idea I have, really fundamentally has that at its at its basis. Uh, how can one uh, manipulate the factors in the environment of the learner that will uh, lead to learning that is both more effective and do it more efficiently. <laughs> In 1965, a book was published in the United States of America which was to have a dramatic effect on the thinking of many psychologists and educators throughout the world. The name of the book, The Conditions of Learning, its author, Robert Milhouse Gagné. Dr. Gagné was born in Massachusetts in 1916. He received his undergraduate education at Yale University and received an MSc and a doctoral degree in experimental psychology from Brown University in 1940. During the Second World War, he served as an aviation psychologist and was engaged in the development of tests of motor and perceptual functions in the classification of air crew. After the war, he returned to college teaching at Pennsylvania State University and again at Connecticut College, where he carried out a research project on learning and transfer skills. For eight years thereafter, he held positions as technical director in two Air Force laboratories, and he was engaged in research programs dealing with learning and methods of technical training. From 1958 to 1962, Dr. Gagné was professor of psychology at Princeton University, where he carried out a series of studies on the acquisition of knowledge, and he collaborated with the University of Maryland's mathematics project in studies of mathematics learning. From 1962 to 1965, he was director of research at the American Institute for Research, where he supervised research programs on human performance, instructional methods, educational objectives, design and evaluation of curricula, and evaluation procedures. From 1966 to 1969, he was professor of education psychology at the University of California, Berkeley. He continued his academic career as professor in the Department of Educational Research Development Foundations at Florida State University, where he completed research on various topics such as learning hierarchies related to school instruction, media selection, 